The following is a clip from the highly acclaimed educational radio program, The White Riot Show. Notice another thing. I'm sorry. I thought we were going to finish, but let me toss this out to you. The other thing was in the aftermath, immediate aftermath of the bombing, on Twitter you had a hashtag trending that said, pray for Boston. Okay. Now, you're an atheist. Agnostic. Agnostic, excuse me. Are you offended by that? Pray for Boston? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> Do you no. Know and you know why? No, wait, let me tell you why. You know okay. why? Because there are religious people in the world. <laughs> yes. I'm not one of them, but they are. And if yeah. it means something to them, yeah. if they grab, if they gain some solace or some right. comfort or strength from it, go ahead and pray for Boston. Right. It, it's clearly, even if it doesn't have to be something I believe in, it's clearly motivated by kindness and decency <laughs> to pray go. for them <laughs> so that, you know. You're not making the, a political the, point. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> go ahead and pray. Right. Now, the funny thing is, I feel the way you do. that You say, pray for Boston. And even if you're not religious, you might say, pray for Boston in the sense that I hope they pull no, through. That's fine. I hope they get some help. Whatever, even right? before, I forgot what you said, but I, 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 I underlined it by saying, thank God. Right. Like, you know, like, that's fine. <laughs> and it's also a matter of speech, right? Yes, that's a common okay. expression. Yeah. <laughs> do you know how many fucking asshole atheists had to make it a point oh, of geez. getting on Twitter and say, save your prayers. Obviously, if there was a God, this wouldn't have happened to begin with. Asshole. Yeah. Like, and, right. and, like you had this lit. Well, that's the world we live in now. Everybody's got to get a point across. You know, you know. Like, well, since there is no God, what are you praying for? Them? You're just fucking yeah. stupid. Like, well, why don't you send them ten dollars instead, look, asshole? If somebody is, if this is helping them, let them do yeah. it. And if somebody says, but you know, like I part company with. The, actually, that's why I don't belong right. to any atheists or agnostic groups, right? Because they they get a little they're too militant. carried away. No, no, but they get like everybody else. They're a little yeah. too carried away. Like, <laughs> you know, they're like trying to stamp out Christmas. <laughs> right. Like anybody who puts up a Christmas tree, you're a bigot. Like, you know, like, all right, stop. You know, like look. I I don't no I agree with I them. mean I don't believe in in the traditional sense right. I I I have a hard time believing that Muslims or Christians or Jews or Hindus that these people have figured out right. what happens after right. I die right. I have a very hard time getting right. there now now that being said there may in fact be something right after you're saying you I, don't know I die uh, you're like, saying you don't well, know well, yes but I I also say that because I think that's the most re- reasonable response uh, right you right. really don't know what's going to happen after you, you die and the problem with religion is it tells you, you right that you do and you couldn't possibly know well we've then, known each other for 30 years I don't remember you being violently for lack of a better term violently atheistic like <laughs> if, no. so, if someone walked up to you and said Merry it's Christmas a, Larry you're not like no, fuck I, you no <laughs> actually I love Christmas <laughs> right. no I do but, right. you, you know, but he's like but for for me though it's because uh, i'm very close with my family it's family right it's food it's and it's the gifts giving right. and it's the feeling it's that the I, actually get. The- I, I actually the, let me tell you the last week or two before christmas and i've said this before i actually get a very kind of rockwellian like you right. know like it's a wonderful Emotional, life right, kind yeah. of, it's a nice time and i go out of my way to be much nicer i really do yeah. and there's a lot of good in it and i don't have to be a holy roller to to be a part of it right and know? a couple of weeks ago i think i called you up and wished you a happy easter and, and you were like that's, thank you buddy you know whatever nobody gets upset now I, I have seen you react violently if someone wishes you a happy uh, hanukkah no, no, that was that was Merry Kwanzaa, because <laughs> <laughs> that's a fake holiday, and somebody made that shit up, and I don't want to hear about it. Join us every week at www.whiteriotshow.com to follow the latest exploits of Big Fat John and Judo Larry M. This is Mark, the man with the golden voice, and I'm not wearing any pants. Whoa.